Okay, hello and welcome to probably the most uh, boring but some, somehow, for some reason, quite anticipated session on the continuous key signing party introduction. So if it's uh, about a party, it should be good, I hope. Uh, uh, I'll just uh, uh, well, give some details as to what, what we are doing and why we're doing it, because I know there's always some new people, but I expect this to be quite short, right? So, we're here to try to strengthen the web of trust. Uh, the web of trust is a construct, I will show some pictures of it. Oh, this is... Uh, better? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a construct we have uh, in Debian uh, that uh, gives uh, coherence to who we are socially but technically as well. Uh, and different uh, uh, parts of Debian require to interact with us. Mainly, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm here, I took this uh, uh, position because I'm part of the queuing mate, uh, uh, the, the, the people responsible for the queuing. Uh, I don't see Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, ah, that's Jonathan, there in the middle. We are the, the queuing maintenance team, so we are responsible for holding, for, for saying which keys are part of the queuing. That doesn't mean that, that we trust you, only that uh, we uh, check that you uh, comply with our base uh, re re requirements. Uh, the, the information from the keys is also used by the front desk, that's the well, the, the, the people that handle all the processes and all the uh, transitions between states uh, of individuals in their uh, relation with the Debian project. And, well, the Debian infrastructure. Several of our computers uh, require uh, for different actions uh, for you to have a, a, a key in one of the active uh, key rings. Uh, so, if you are a Debian developer, your, your key is uh, on, on one of the key rings. Key ring, uh, Debian maintainer on another key ring. Debian developer non uploading on a third key ring. Uh, other key rings exist, but, uh, but they do not have an active role. Uh, well, we could talk, and if there is interest, uh, 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 we will talk more about what is a web of trust, a curated web of trust. What is a strong set? What is the connected set? There are many things related to this, but well, this is just a family photo. I would like to, to show who we are. This is the photo, uh, not, not a new one, but I haven't created a new one. Uh, uh, this is the, the photo of the Debian developers queuing uh, one and a half years ago, uh, after we did some major <laughs> adjustments. And, uh, well, it shows the, the signature edges. Uh, each uh, edge, each line is a signature, and uh, basically it, it shows how how new or how old is uh, trust uh, among uh, the nodes that are the, the people. And this is the photo of the the key ring we are using for this particular key signing. Of course, this just looks like a black uh, mess. Uh, like, like a black, uh, uh, well, a uh, tangled thing. But the important thing here is that uh, you find who you are and, uh, and who you are connected to. I prepared the... Uh, yeah, this is an active link. I prepared this. So each of you can find yourselves... This is me, for example. And you can find for example, here, who I am connected to. Uh, I will go back to this in a minute. This should be useful to know, well, uh, what, what the next things uh, this, in this key signing party, what, what the next steps for, for you is. So, before going further, have you all, all done this? Have you all got your lucky number? Do you all agree with it? Of course, this is not enough because it's very, very easy to cheat. If I just uh, do this, uh, I mean, the, the reason that I'm showing this is that we have to check this number matches. 
for, for all of us. So we're going to do a group reading of the string. Because, uh, well, if your key was uh, sent to Aníbal, uh, who organ organized uh, this uh, key signing party, your key should be in this file that, that I got, the ksp-dc17.txt. And I want to ensure this key, this uh, file is the same for each and one of us, e e each, uh, each one of us, uh, to make sure that we all have exactly the same file. In, in case some, some, somebody is not uh, familiar with uh, what SHA-256 sum does, SHA-256 is a hashing algorithm that's, uh, well, it basically maps anything to a string of this size, uh, 256 uh, bits, and makes it extremely unlikely to find something similar. So, uh, even if you have a very small modification in your file, uh, the, the hash, the, the, the uh, number yielded by uh, your uh, SHA-256 from your file will, will be wildly different than this one. It's extremely unlikely you will have something as phony as I, I did here, changing just uh, two digits, right? Uh, so, I will, uh, I will ask people to start reading this from your copies, not from mine. Because uh, I know what the, what the numbers is, uh, what the number, uh, what the numbers are, uh, but we should uh, all check this from either your computer or your printed page where you already wrote this down. So uh, it would be nice to have two people read at once, but of course this is very prone to to timing errors. But uh, if you if we start here with David and you, uh, each one reads one. Uh, one uh, uh, digit uh, or letter from their copy, we should all verify it's the same one. Six, one. <laughs> Please con uh, continue this way. Uh, if no, is it six one? Who who goes next? Foxtrot. Mm -hmm. F. F. Next. F. Mm -hmm. A. Please please go on. People, we need the audience to get engaged. Nine, nine somebody say nine? We cannot hear you up here. Sorry? <laughs> louder. Okay, I will repeat what was said until now. Gunnar, you might, just, you might just ask for volunteers to approach the microphones and then that way people who want to... Right, and, and, and we don't want everybody to, to say just one digit. So, yeah, some people, please, more than three or four approach the microphones and uh, read maybe uh, four digits. Four digits each. Six, six, one, F, F, A, C, nine, one, five, two, nine, nine. One, B, F, seven. B, A, B, F. <laughs> Had a chorus effect on the tune there. D A five three three eight zero D two six eight E four one nine five zero two zero one five F B B F973 F72A F5DC E889-7252 Thank you very much. Did, did everybody check this? Okay, for those of you who, who are not into this, the thing is we want to be sure that when we check identities, that will be I will explain that, uh, that as a next step. We are already, uh, all of us are checking the same file that uh, uh, contains similar strings for each of us. That, because that, uh, this identification is the closest, the closest we have to uh, a verification of identity in the Debian project. 
So, who should I cross sign with? Well, uh, this picture I sent you, this uh, shows my key in the center, of course, each of your keys in the center, and uh, it shows uh, the, the, the links uh, with, uh, the, with people you have already cross-signed, or maybe, say, this one. Uh, this one only has one signature. So I could check here, for example, uh, here I have signed uh, Devin Vansop's key, but he hasn't signed mine. So I, I, I can approach him and ask, ask him, well, let's uh, uh, redo the cross-signing. Here it is, uh, it's the opposite way around. I, uh, Valencio Brito has signed me, but I didn't sign his key. So uh, I should tell, uh, go, go to him, verify identity, and sign his key again. But uh, it's more important if I approach people who, who whom, whose identity I trust, say I know who and Tom Bray's, but I, I haven't uh, cross-signed with him. So I should approach him and, uh, and exchange signatures. So if somebody is my friend, I have not cross-signed, I, I am aware of, uh, I, I trust his identity, I should do a cross-signing. If another person is many hops away from me, uh, say, we can see this shape here of the Kirin, uh, where it has spikes and the people far away. Who is this person? This person is uh, on the far edge. Simon McVitie should be signed by me because he's quite far. So if I sign his key, if I cross sign with him, it will make the, key, the whole set more coherent. Uh, or if somebody is isolated or weakly connected. Say, uh, Afif El Graoui, William Blue, etc. Uh, all those people that are not part of the main blog, we should get them in. Uh, they are joining the key signing party because they want to get in the queuing. Of course, we have to check they are who, you, uh, who, who they claim to be. Uh, if you are one of those people that are not strongly connected or that are not connected, Please do, do, do not uh, doubt and uh, contact us. Uh, 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 talk to uh, as many of us as possible so you can get inside the, 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 the strong set. Right? Um, we don't need everybody to be in the center. There's no need for everybody to have a very, very high rank of signatures. But uh, it's good to have more, more than one, two, five uh, 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 a signature son, right? It's better to be more connected. Maybe you didn't get it there in time. Maybe you, your, your key is not part of, the, of this file. What should you do? Well, of course, you're not in this map because I didn't know of you when I made this. But print some slips having your name and your full key fingerprint. Uh, with those, you can well uh, ch uh, check identities, exchange uh, signatures with, with other people. Uh, if you have your slips, and you have uh, this uh, file and you trust this file, then you don't have to get si uh, uh, slips from everybody whose key you cross sign, right? Then, what is trust? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about checking identity. What does checking identity mean? Some people trust government issues, issued IDs. I, 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 I can tell you from, uh, from this moment, I don't have my passport on me, I will not bring my passport to DevConf. I have other credentials if you need them, or other ID cards for, uh, from different actors, but I, I don't care too much about them. Many people trust government issued IDs. This is a personal thing. Each person should put their trust where it's uh, uh, where they trust. I prefer to trust the person. So, for example, if I just met somebody, I will not sign you probably this year unless we have uh, some time together and I, I can rely on getting to know you or recognizing you later on, but the, the, again, the, the guidelines depend on each person. Your scheme, how do you uh, validate uh, the person that's in front of you? How, you? how do you validate, why do you trust somebody to be the, 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 the person he's claiming to be? We are uh, asserting the identity of people. 
So, uh, and it's a serious thing, it's something that we should take seriously, uh, but uh, there's no one scheme to do it. Every scheme you propose is probably valid. So, uh, well, uh, I guess we still have some minutes in case somebody wants to ask or comment or, uh, well, whatever. Uh, but, but that's it for me, that's, uh, that's the introduction. I will uh, make sure to put uh, a copy of the SHA uh, we read together, uh, uh, pasted on the front desk wall or, or something like that, because that's a number we want to be able to refer to, right? So please, if somebody has anything to add, please do. Thanks a lot. Start uh, greeting each other, start uh, well, mingling socially, and uh, uh, enjoy your stay here at Montreal. Um, so you were talking about the age of um, the sign uh, signatures in the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. Does it matter which uh, key I, I sign if I take the what version you'd have in the key ring? Ah, right. Or okay. version that is two years old and has lots of, lots less signatures. Or the other way around, I'm still behind of signing my Cape Town uh, key signing set. Sorry, everyone. Right. But can I sign the current keys as they exist today, or should I refrain to an older version? Okay, uh, I made this uh, this graph I showed uh, with the the keys as they were uploaded to the uh, public key servers two or three days ago. So, if you got more signatures, they will be reflected there. If you didn't, uh, don't worry. Now, this, this is a picture for this year's key ring. If you call it a key ring, I mean this year's set of keys, I'm mapping it to, a, to something that resembles a key ring. Right? Uh, it's the same basic uh, key identification uh, for a person who, who you exchanged signatures with last year or this one. Maybe this year, uh, this year they will have more signatures on it, but you're signing the identity. You're not signing the whole of the file, just the, the, the identities. Of course, if from last year to this year, I changed my, uh, my key, I migrated my main key, well, I will be a different person. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Okay. So again, enjoy. Designing. Somebody who has not yet used uh, GNUPG, well, to learn how to use GNUPG, to create a private key, uh, to see how they will store, how they will protect their private key. Uh, how, I mean, to, to play a bit with it. That's, that, that would be the first step. Okay. Thanks.